Hey Fabric developers, I'm Mike Bunnell, a developer advocate on Firebase. You may recognize me from times when I answered your questions on Stack Overflow, or over email for Fabric and Crashlytics. And a hello to you too, Firebase developers. I'm Doug Stevenson, also a developer advocate with the Firebase team. We're so happy to join forces with Fabric to give developers the tools you need to build great apps. One thing that really excited me when we joined Firebase was to see how aligned we were as a team. Together, we're going to help developers build, improve quality, and grow their apps. We've been working hard to bring the best of Fabric and Firebase together, and one example of that is adding Crashlytics within the Firebase console. And for those of you Firebase developers who are using Firebase Crash Reporting, that's being replaced with Crashlytics going forward. Firebase Crash Reporting is deprecated and being retired on September 8th. But that's okay, because Crashlytics has so much good stuff in it to help you diagnose problems in your app. One of the features within Firebase Crashlytics is Crash Insights, which provides ways to solve common crashes. We provide additional insight into what could be causing the crash in the first place. You can find Crashlytics in the Firebase console now, along with the original Fabric console. With Firebase, the dashboard may look a little different, but Crashlytics is right there in the left-hand side in the Stability section, along with Firebase Test Lab and Performance Monitor. So Doug, you mentioned Test Lab and Performance Monitoring. What are some interesting ways developers can use those to improve their app stability? Yeah, so with Test Lab, you can test your app on a wide variety of devices before you ship it to your customers. And with Performance Monitoring, you can measure your app's performance from your user's perspective. Both great tools to use along with Crashlytics in order to ensure your app meets a consistently high bar of quality. In conversations with other developers, something I've heard many times is that app teams want to launch a new feature within their app and closely monitor it for stability or any other problems it may cause for their users. Does Firebase have any tools for that? Sure. Uh, Firebase Remote Config lets you activate and deactivate new features with a few lines of code, along with some configuration in the Firebase console. So what you can do is launch your app with the feature disabled, then activate it slowly over time, monitoring for crashes with Crashlytics, or using other indicators that it's not working the way you'd like. And if you spot a problem, just turn it off in the console until you can publish an update. Sounds a lot easier than trying to update and publish a hotfix version of my app. Yeah, and there's a lot there to help you focus on building your app without having to build its infrastructure. I'm sure if you take a look at the documentation and explore the dashboard, you'll find another Firebase feature you'd like to use. The Firebase and Fabric teams are here to help you out. If you need help once you're using Firebase, head to the Firebase support portal. In the meantime, all Fabric developers can continue to get help via support at fabric.io. Always remember that you can find the Fabric public roadmap on get.fabric.io. And as usual, you can get more information by clicking the links in the description below.